Hey you all, how's everybody feeling? Today is pool day. Which way? With me. You've done the push workout, right? Now we're gonna give you a little teaser of what pool day is all about with dumbbells, of course. All right. Now, once we start a workout, if you want to feel the complete flavor of today's workout, all you got to do is move on to the CullFit app and work out there with us as well. Are we ready, Shwe? Yes, absolutely. Do this workout for two weeks with us and you're going to seriously see some gains. Yeah, <laughs> let's get into it. Let's rock the warm up because it's super important, right? So we're going to start off with four movements. Yeah, so let's just, you know, warm up <laughs> yeah. a little bit, move along, feel that energy, feel that excitement. Make sure you have your water bottle, your dumbbells, and also a towel and switch on that energy meter, right? Yeah. Make sure you hit a lot of numbers over there. We're going to start off with Cobra and Mountain, okay? We're going to go and we're going to switch from Cobra to Mountain. 30 seconds of this. First thing is we're gonna lie down on the mat, your hands outside your shoulders, lift your torso up using that lower back. Then you lift your hips up, heels down. All right, so that's how we're gonna flow for the first warm up and mobility drill. 30 seconds, we're ready in three, two, and one. Go. Let's go. Ooh. All right, let's drop into the Cobra. Easy. At your own pace. Open up that uh, chest. Yeah, all right, 10 seconds. Yeah. And those hip flexors. Yeah. Absolutely. And last one. That's it. To finish. All right. Yeah. What's up next? We've got a pruned it's snow angels. Right? So we're going to be lying down still onto the mat. Yeah. We're going to start off with your chin above the mat, your hands forward, elbows up. And from here, we're going to take it back and squeeze those shoulder blades. All right? We're going to go really slow and focus on your scapulas. Yeah. You're good. Ready? Three, two, and one. Go. Oh. Really need this before, you know, adding all those full movements. Ah, I'm yeah. excited for the serious work that's coming our way. Ah, excited to see the gains more than anything else. Muscle is the only age reversible organ in the body. <laughs> Remember. Absolutely. Yeah. I've, I've heard you speak <laughs> about it. I've, yeah. You know, we've written about this. We're done. We're done with this one. Okay. We've been facing down the map. Yeah. <laughs> you know, for these two movements, let's face up for back widows. All right, so what we're doing is we're going to lie down with our knees bent, heels comfortably placed, right? But from here, I want you all to push your elbows down. Do not flare it down. Keep it close to your rib cage, head down. From here, jam those elbows down, <coughs> lift your torso up, neck neutral and down. And squeeze your shoulder blades on top. <coughs> Yeah? Yeah. All right, we're feeling this. Let's do this in three, two, and one. Ooh. How long are we holding it on top? Like just a, a few seconds. Yeah, just a few seconds to really contract <sighs> the muscles on that upper back. Elbows down, nail it in. <sighs> Neck to remember. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Last one and done. Wow, that felt good. Absolutely. All okay. right, we're going to finish things up with A-skips. All right, let's have Shui demo this one, yeah? Oh, wow, it's my favorite, yeah. <laughs> well, all we do is a little hop, right? One knee up at a time, a little hop, and the, alt the opposite hand moving up and down. Simple, it's like a high knee, but it's a lot softer version of a high knee. True that, true Ready? that. Ready? Okay, let's do yeah, this. Yeah, easy, 30 seconds, go. That's it. All right, come on, come on, y'all. Look at Shui. Look at that energy. <laughs> it's got to rub off on you, right? Yeah. Hang on till the weight's coming. <laughs> and then I'll be like huffing and puffing. And you can see those, see that face with all kinds of weird expression, <laughs> trying to lift heavy. Okay. And relax. 
Okay, so we're done with the yeah. warm up. That means we are super ready for today's workout. Now comes in the weights, all right? We, we're gonna talk a little bit about push, pull, and legs, right? So the first day was push, now it's pull day, which means we're gonna be pulling the weight, you know, from bottom position, right? From the ground position. And we're gonna tell you why this workout is so efficient. This program is so efficient for muscle growth. And that's because we do this day one push, day two pull, day three legs, and then we repeat. So you see, you get at least two days to rest. Yeah. Your muscles and recovery has to be, has to be there for your muscles to grow. All right? 100. 100. So. We're gonna do some back work first. Okay. Right? 30 seconds work, 15 seconds rest, four rounds. I'm four gonna go rounds. off. Four rounds. Wow, <laughs> I'm feeling the burn already. The Three first... movements, all right? Yeah. I'm gonna go with lighter, uh, you know, tens. I think Shui is going with 7.5s. Yeah. The first movement is a renegade row, the dumbbell renegade row. We're gonna get into a high plank position, all right? Here, back neutral, core engaged. Okay, very important. Squeeze your butt as well. Then row upward. Down, row upward, down. Now, what we have is a hexagon dumbbell. Now, if you don't have, if you have those round ones, you can go 15 seconds one side, palm down, okay? And then go 15 seconds the other side. Yeah, All right? Absolutely. Okay, so yeah. let's do this. This is the first one. First one? Yeah. Let's go. 30 seconds, right? Okay. Alternating and go. Okay, when, when you're rowing up, make sure that your elbows are close to your rib cage and you're rowing up towards your hip. 15 seconds done. Yeah. Control that core, the hips. Do not allow it to tilt too much to one side. Head to toe, nice straight line. And last one. Done. And done. The okay. next one is the it's okay. a while they rest. Row. Yeah. Yeah. Single arm dumbbell row. You can do this with your feet in the same line or the staggered, the seesaw, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what we do is it's one side, yeah. row upward, hold it there for two to three seconds, and down. Literally squeeze that back. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> let's take a look. Thirty seconds. On each side, each we're gonna side. get an eight to ten reps. Super. Yeah, eight reps. One second pause, right? Yeah. Two seconds. Two pause. seconds, yeah. All okay. Right. Ready? Yeah. yeah. So like Rahul is resting his arm, the opposite, the other arm on the knee. You can do that, or you can even avoid the rest. Nice hinge, soft knees, and go. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. When you go heavier, you will find the need yeah. to rest that arm, and it'll be yeah basically much easier to pull then. All right, we're holding about two to three seconds on top, okay? Don't forget that. Contract, squeeze, release. But release slowly and control. A few more seconds. And we are good. Hi, yeah, yeah. Nice. Change, okay. change, change. Yeah, to the change, other change, side. change. <laughs> the other side. Okay, let's go. Okay. I'm gonna do it this way. So I'm facing inside. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. We're holding for two to three seconds. And we're gonna balance out the reps. Breathe out as you lift up, working against gravity. That's it. Exhale. Elbow close to the body. Nice, feel the burn. And last one. Yeah. And change. All right. Okay. Pullover is coming. Pullover is coming. So for this, we're going to lie down on the floor. Just going to make some place here. Yeah. Okay. We're going to use only single dumbbell for this. All right. Knees bent like how we did in the mobility. All right. Yeah. For the back work. Hands on top. Let it go in control. And up. Yeah. So what you're targeting is your are your lats. And this is serratus muscle, all right, which connects your lats to your your, your, your chest. chest okay, we yeah. call it the boxes muscle. Very important, your rib cage, it covers that. So that's what we're targeting over here. Okay, so your shoulders in one place. Yeah. All right, let's start in three, two, and one. Slowly and 
come up. Try not to rest the weight on the floor. Just keep it an inch, two inch off the floor so that you maintain that time and attention. Yeah. So when you're taking your dumbbell down towards the floor, you inhale Yeah. and exhale on top. Right, Raul? Absolutely. Good stuff. Come on, team. Almost there. One more. Yeah. And relax. Oh my God. Okay, Rahul. <laughs> that was just ward one. Okay, so we got your arms and trap work coming up. All right, team. So what we're gonna do now, again, three movements. We're gonna hit the first two movements and focus on your biceps. All right? Yeah. Two muscle heads, okay? The inner and the outer, all right? The peak is also there, but it kind of inserts to both the muscles. All right, for this, I'm gonna use a little lighter weight and we're gonna hit, uh, use two or a pair. We're gonna hit alternating bicep curls, all right? So you can start with your uh, you know, a neutral grip or you can keep it like this and supinated. This is more tough, but I'm gonna do with this, right? Yeah. This style, okay? So one, down, two, and down, all right? Both the dumbbells. And we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Yeah. We rest 15 seconds and we hit the second, rest 15 seconds. Then we hit some trap work. All right. Okay, I'm ready. ready. Okay. <laughs> are you ready? Of course you are. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this one we're hitting only three rounds, all right? So let's okay. do this in three, two, and one. Come on. One squeeze down. Two <sighs> squeeze down. All right. Three. When is the last time? You did a bicep curl. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know, yeah? And tell us how you feel. All right? <sighs> but a quick trivia, right? I mean, your arms, your biceps make you look good, but it's the triceps which actually fills up your arm, right? So you've got to train the triceps as well, the three heads. Nobody talks about that. <laughs> and change. Okay, so we're going to rest for 15 seconds. Let yeah. me tell you what we're doing. Yeah. We're going to hit some hammer curls. Oof, for that peak. Two, like that, all right? Keeping those elbows close to your ribcage and not moving that too much. Think about it as a hinge movement for your elbow, all right? Okay, let's do yep. this. Ready? Alternating, starting in three, <laughs> two, one, come on. One, <sighs> two. I like the way Raul's like checking himself out. <laughs> you gotta do that, right? Because it's mind and muscle connect. Very important <laughs> when you wanna build that. <laughs> Nice muscle, hypertrophy effect gets compounded. Uh, I'm not used to that. So I'm like, okay, looking straight. And then I'm looking at Rahul and Rahul's so engrossed in looking at his arm. <laughs> All right, the gym bro is out. Come on, come on. Yeah. yeah. Last one, last one. Squeeze, contract, feel that. Okay. Nice work. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to go a little heavy for this one because it's shrug shrugs, time yeah. for your traps. Okay. Ready? Now, shrugs. Beautiful movement. All you gotta do is keep your weights in front of you. Pull with your <laughs> shoulders. Hold it there for a second or two and down. All right, do not lift your elbows. Elbows are straight. Okay, let's do this. Three, two, and one. Squeeze on top and down. You should be able to hit about 12 to 15 reps to time it well. I think my grip strength has to be improved, looks like. <sighs> Keep going. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Almost there. Ah. Oof. Ah, wow. Whoa. Whoa. I'm telling you. <laughs> Ouch. My fingers. All Easy. Right, so next time you hit the gym, right? Get those plates, thickish plates, right? Uh, yeah. Hold it with your fingertips and you know, stay as long as possible. 10, 20, 30 seconds. Yeah. Repeat at about three to four times and that'll help you improve your grip strength. Of course, heavy deadlifts yeah. also will help. You. Like pinching, no? Pinching yeah. the plate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, so we're done with two major wads. We're gonna finish off, uh, you know, the hypertrophy kind of a workout set up with back and biceps again. Sure. Three rounds. We're gonna do some flies. We're gonna do a solid finisher for your arms and you're gonna love it. You're gonna go a little light with that, okay? For these two movements, I'm gonna go light. So if you have fives, that's good. 7.5, still good. 
and anything heavier than that, you might not be able to complete the workout, yeah. the seconds. Yeah. All right, let's Ready. do this. The first one, reverse flies. Okay, so for the reverse flies, you're gonna keep a neutral grip, which means you're gonna be keeping your palms or fingertips facing each other. All right, from here, you're gonna fly out, fly out, fly out in that bent over position. Okay, 30 seconds. Listen, 30 seconds is quite long. You might do about 10 reps or uh, 12 reps. You want to break it down, rest for about two to three seconds in between. Yeah. That's totally fine. Okay? Yeah. yeah. That's the first one. And then we're going to hit some bicep work. Okay, we're going to talk about it and demo that. And then you can just leave your hands on the mat. <laughs> <laughs> or you'll feel that, you know, you've lost something. Okay. <laughs> because you're going to get that nice pump. All Ready? right, let's do this. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Easy. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna go Ooh. inside. Yeah. Please. Keep. Really? Yeah, you can keep those elbows soft. Slight bend. Are you lowering down slowly, Rahul? Yep. Okay. Slow down. A quick one as you fly. Open those wings and. Relax. And oh. doing R. Kelly. I believe I can fly. Yeah. <laughs> if you know that Love song. Love that song. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Now let's talk about the next work. Oh, what you're going to do is single arm. So, all right, let's go with one dumbbell. Okay. So seven reps. Yeah. Let's do 15 seconds. Bicep curls. But with your palms facing up. Okay. Yeah. Not the neutral. All right. Once we do 15 seconds over here. Yeah. Or 67 reps, and yeah. we're gonna go hammer. All right, same hand, same hand, and then we switch hands. Jam it, we're good. 15 15. All yeah. right, let's go. Three, two, one. Okay, yeah, I'm doing 7.5. <sighs> All right, so Shui spoke about you know one side being a little weaker, right? So when you have that wee bit of energy. What you want to do is you want to start with that weaker side as well. Hit one extra rep there, two reps. Hammer now. Hammer. So that eventually you're going to balance it out uh, on both sides. Boom. All right. Oh my God. I'm glad it's the last one. Yeah. Oh God. Come on, come on. You know what? All of us have got this muscular imbalances in our body. Oh, yes. So it's okay. Single side training, unilateral training, we call it. That's the best way to change, change. Deal. All right. Hammer. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, I'm feeling the burn. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. All right, we're done. Oh, uh, what? Okay. Thank you. All right. Now. This Grand workout, this, this entire program, right? It's so brilliant. You could customize it in any way you want, right? So ideally what we're doing is uh, in this program, Monday to Saturday is work, right? So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, push, pull, leg, push, pull, leg. Sunday is rest day. But what you can do is if you are doing this again after the program is over, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you do, you rest on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you can do your rest on a Monday. I mean, either way, or you could do push, pull, rest, leg, push as well. Mm. However works for you, all right? You got to fit it into your schedule. All you need to do is take out one hour of your day. All right. Yes. So having said that, we're going to get into the last block, which is your finisher. And dear Shrey. No. Dear Shrey is going to demo all the movements while I talk about it. <laughs> okay, That's all mean. right. All right. Leg she can raise. do it, right? Come on. Come so on. the first one is leg raises. So we're gonna keep the back down, extend the legs. All right. You I'm can keep your hands yeah. under your lower back. Yeah. All right. For that extra cushion, extra support. Okay. You can go leg up and slowly down lower. All right. Yeah. Leg up, leg raise, and down. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to touch your heels on the floor. Okay, so that's a challenge, 30 seconds. But if you feel fatigue setting in, form is going a little off, you can rest 
You can dash. even do. You can even do, yeah, alternating. Single. Okay. That's the one. All right, 15 seconds rest and then we hit weighted sit-ups, 15 seconds rest, we hit mountain climbers. We're going to talk about those two. Yeah. All let's right, go. let's go in. Let Everybody me get ready, Shwe. Huh? <laughs> All right, let me get ready. <laughs> All right, let's go in three, two, and one. Up, slowly lower, up. Keep your head down. Okay. Unless you want to take it up. Yeah. Make it more challenging. <sighs> Toes extended. Keep those arms, okay, right between your lower back and the butt. Oh, yeah. And done. Oh, I'm so glad that's done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for the weighted sit-ups, you can use a water bottle, of course, filled with water, or you can use a lighter dumbbell, okay? A light dumbbell, right? Yeah, light one, like yeah. two kilos, two and a half. Uh, I mean, two, if it is there. Yeah. It's there, two? No, I don't have two. two. And I'm half. just going to try. Yeah, so five max. Okay, so what you want to do is hold the end of the weight. From here, keep your knees bent. You're going to use your abdomen power, all right, to lift yourself up, down. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to pull that, push that weight down, okay? Keep it on top over here and hold it firmly. All right, up. You can do this just with your body weight, hands on top. That's it, okay? yeah. Okay. You don't need a weight. You don't need you a don't weight. You don't need a water bottle. You don't need a dumbbell. You, do, you can just use your body weight for yeah. these sit-ups, right? Okay. So I'm going to do it without the weight for this one. I'm going to uh, try one, okay? Uh, and I'll tell you how I feel. Okay, here? Yeah. And oh, up. it feels good. You should do it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Next <don't>. round. <laughs> All right, let's go. 30 seconds. Come on. Okay. Down. And start. Uh, Whew. Two. You can See. keep your feet flat on the ground or like Rahul. You can even yeah. keep it light where he's Resting it on his heel. Okay. Ah. Oof. Engage that midsection. Would draw that belly button in and rise. Yeah. Last one. And done. Okay, you gotta tell us how you're feeling with that. Feels great. I used a 5 kg. Don't have anything lesser than that. But I didn't do a pullover. Yeah. I kept it up. And I went up from there. Absolutely. You know, if you're carrying weight, do not do a pullover. Yeah. Keep it on top. Yeah. Facing the ceiling throughout. All right. Yeah. Okay. Mountain climbers. Gives you actually a little momentum to go up. So Absolutely. it's nice. Let's go. All right. You all know the mountain climbers. Okay. <laughs> High plank. Knee close to your chest. And you can go at a pace that you feel is challenging for you. All right. Okay. Let's go in three, two, and one. Go. <sighs> Not my favorite movement, but I will do it happily. Yeah, yeah I, I'm not a fancy guy for, you know, <laughs> mountain climbers, but it's yeah. a necessary evil, I believe. <laughs> oh, 100, yeah. Rightly said, necessary evil. And there, are, there are people who swear by it, right? Who've oh, yes. Like lost oodles of weight and felt their core come on, getting come on, super come strong. On. Come on, five seconds. Almost there. <sighs> yeah. And done. Um, okay. All right. Uh, Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Waiting. All right. Let's get this done. Sphinx pose to start with. Okay. So it's like your cobra, but the regress version. Elbows down. Okay. Just like the Egyptians would do. All right. Ready? Think of the pharaoh. Yeah. We're going to hold it for 30 seconds here. Wow. Okay, just gonna lift those elbows slightly up yeah. to deepen that stretch, yeah? Ooh. And hold it there. Nothing uncomfortable. Three, two, one. Okay, puppy dog. So what you wanna do is keep your hips and your knees in one line first, okay? okay. Drop your palms down, drop your chin down and lift your hips up. All right, and hold it there. Hold. Yeah. You find so that good. Nice stretch on your mid back. Okay. And you keep pushing your arms forward. Remember, this is not a child's pose. In the child's pose, you rock your hips back all the way towards your heels. Can you feel this in your upper back? Yeah, absolutely. Because that's where you get mid back, upper back. Yeah. yeah. Mid back. Yeah. 
Almost there, team. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Okay. What do we have next? Downward. We've, we've got a downward dog. <laughs> All right, from the puppy dog. Okay. Yeah. Lift your hips up. Other mountain pose, right? Okay, heels down and hang in there. Compress your spine. Head in between your palms, close to the mat. Yeah. Deep inhale, deep exhale. You can keep your knees locked if you can. Yeah. Feel a nice deep stretch in the calf as well. Correct. And hamstring, of course. Hold and, it. And we're done. Oh. All right. All right, team. So that is how our pull workout looked like to get the real feel of it. You got to head to the cult app. Yes, so that was pull, right? And like we said earlier, it's a, a two-week program, six days a week of workout, push, pull, and legs. So complete this workout and feel tremendous amount of gains. See us on the CultFit app. Workout with us for two weeks. Yeah, see you.